Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. So today, um, we're going to hopefully survive a little bit longer and get uh, some extra stuff done. Now, uh, we are on winter day 10. So we have a few more days, uh, two more days of winter. And then most likely we'll be planting a whole bunch more crops again and hopefully we can get some stuff mined out uh, before then we have some limestone here that we need to um, mine out and there's a whole bunch of dirt in this area as well but um, our chickens gave birth again so we got two more chickens from that not sure what, what gender they are uh, this one's female and where's the other one I think that's it right there. It's so hard to get them under shelters like this. So female and female. So both of them are female ones. Um, yeah, we're doing pretty good for livestock. We have another baby cattle, a uh, female one there. We still need a, another, um, what do you call it? Another donkey, a male one preferably. Uh, we should probably do some trading as well when we can. I don't know how, if we'll be able to do that anytime soon, but um, probably want to wait until spring uh, and we'll send somebody out there. But I wanted to get the uh, rest of the roof done for this particular building. I mean, we've been working on uh, getting the clay shingle roof done for that. It looks like we have some bricks that we can use as well. So we'll chop this up and or break this, demolish it, whatever. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and we'll select the other roofs and we'll see if we can't get as much of this done today as possible. I don't want to do too much at a time though because I don't know how much we're going to be using. So I just do small segments like that. I will probably upgrade the churches today too if we have time. So um, or at least start one of them But just get this demolished and then we can start putting it in a better roof So that one That should cost that's eight so eat one of those or eight so all of its eight I guess like that yeah I think that's basically what I've been doing is just using that particular one
Alrighty then, so first day of spring, and I started working on a construction for a newborn. Uh, I figured I'd put it right here, uh, that way we can kind of bring our path directly to it. And it might take a little bit of uh, reworking and stuff like that for build, but um, it'll be better than what we'll what we have currently. And if our gate gets breached, then I can definitely rest assured that our chickens will be fine. So uh, a lot of animals go for chickens. So. Uh, wolves do, I think polecats do, so do foxes. Foxes actually can go through fences, so um, basically if our gate gets breached right now, it would um, most likely cause our chicken supply to basically get extinct, so we don't want that. So I'm basically just building a um, thing here. Uh, we're going with a very similar style of roof as we did with the um, other buildings and we will see if we can't use I think we'll probably use hay for that one, for the barns uh, just so it's a little bit more unique than the other ones. And I put some supports in I don't, I'm still debating if I want a second floor or not um, chances are I'll probably put a second floor in. we might see if we can't get something in here. We could probably use it for um, storage or something like that. Let's see if we can't make something interesting out of this. Uh, we have those parts here, so... Um, hmm. Let's see if we can't go ahead and remove those two. We'll remove that one and this one, and that one, and this one, and same on these sides as well. I think what we'll do is like make little windows that stick out a little bit. I'm not sure how that will turn out, but we can give it a shot. And we could probably put a roof or shingles or something like that there. Yeah, that might look good actually. I know it's not like anything fancy, it's just a barn, but it might do well. Hmm, okay, so we'll do that. We'll put a, a single window on this side, I think. So like that.
All right, a little bit of a status update. So we currently got the um, first floor basically done. Uh, we still need to put some, I don't know, some flooring in I think would be good for the bottom floor. And then upstairs, what I think what we're gonna actually store up here is our hay. And there's plenty of space up here for hay and other things that we need. Uh, hay doesn't spoil when it's on something like that. As you can see, it says it won't spoil ever. Um, it's actually good for hit points and stuff. So um, this one's only 49, but you know, it should be fine in storage as well like this. Um, I put the stair like a ladder over on this side. I know our animals won't be able to get up there um, to eat it that way. And should be fairly safe to leave it like that for them to get up and stuff. Uh, I do still need to add the little decorations on the side like this, but for the most part, I just need to wait for them to build the, uh, the barn itself, and it shouldn't take too, too long to, um, actually get that all set up, but I figure while we're waiting for them to do that, we can just quickly upgrade some of these, um, what do you call it, the, uh, flooring, just so it has a nice little border like we've been doing the other buildings and stuff it's just a small difference it doesn't actually make any huge actually i don't think it makes any benefit to actually doing it but um it does look a little bit lighter it gives kind of like a border along the the walls which i really like so um i wouldn't actually mind molding and stuff for walls as well like if they could actually add that to the game that would be pretty cool I don't know if that was a thing back then, though, so I don't know if that would fit into the game directive or not, but um, it is a nice little feature to have for architecture and stuff. Okay, so almost got that part done. Just need to go along here. Perfect. And we'll probably do the same for the bottom floor as well. And then we just need to wait for them to get up there and finish the, the roof and stuff. Now, I'm not sure about this, if they'll be able to reach that or not. Uh, we should probably actually just make sure that they can reach it by putting that like that so they can get to it. But I think they'll be fine for the other parts, no problem. So as long as they can reach those parts right there, they should be able to get there and put it in the roofs. Um... Yeah, it'll kind of look like that, though. Kind of with the hay. Or thatch. I think it's called thatch. Yeah, thatch. But it's made out of hay.
Alright guys, we got the, uh, what do you call it, the new barn built. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It looks really good on the outside. Um, we got storage on the top floor for fodder and uh, animal feed on this side. We can allow for excess um, animal feed to go up there if we have extra. But um, in most cases, they should be fine with those two spots down there. I removed the old part here and just put a wall around so any intruders or anything like that can't just wander into our base and I blocked off this side over here for the time being until we decide to expand a little bit further. I figure we'll start mining over on this side a little bit, get hopefully a little bit stuff um, figured out. But I put a ladder down here just for the time being so they can get up and down over on this side because there used to be a... Um, ramp somewhere around here so um outside of that uh we've been working on the kitchen there's still a little bit of snow on top it'll probably be gone tomorrow and i told them to start uh planting the farms so got a lot of stuff done today i'm pretty happy with it so um outside of that uh, we'll probably finish the roofs on all sides for the kitchen tomorrow and we'll see if we can't start working on uh, some other buildings, but if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and I will see you guys next time Thanks for watching. Peace out